These days I am back in Denmark and we have a national team camp. So I found my outfit. We will do some cycling today. Also some swimming. Whew. But yes, this is Adeo, the Danish national team here in the Copenhagen area in Denmark. I'm gonna take you with me. I'm having my camera on the bike and I'll show you a bit what's out there in the in the forest. We have an interval loop that's really demanding. Lots of climbs on this track. I, it takes around 15 minutes, I would say, and it's up and down the whole way. It's very, very cash country specific, super steep up, super steep down, and it's like that the whole way. So hard on the camera to see how steep it is. Different kind of like um, steady state interval, because it's not so steady. <laughs> in Denmark, we don't have any climbs, for the ones who doesn't know, we don't have any mountains in Denmark. When you want to do like threshold work, it's um, and you want to have a steady, then you need to find a flat gravel road or asphalt or somewhere where you can do it. And it's it's pretty hard to do like insoles on flats, but you get quite good at it when you are living in Denmark. But today I think we're gonna mix it up. We're gonna do some of this very specific cross country uh, cross country track, and we're gonna do some on the flat, so we have a bit of both. Because when we do it on this specific cross country track, the power is gonna go like that. Um, and when we are pedaling, it's gonna be pretty much above our uh, threshold because it's really steep, and we'll have to get our uh, ourselves up. <laughs> and then when we're going down, it's zero watts. So the normalizers might gonna be pretty much the same as the flats, but it's a different kind of interval, but also really good. So very specific, and I think it's gonna be a good day. We are doing, I think, around three hours. Whoop. So I am fueling with some long distance. Let's go check on the bike and do this uh, great combo, socks and sandals. Wee -hee -hee. Day. Um, so cool to ride with the bunch again, the national team. It's always fun, and um, pretty like it's a young group of guys and girls, so it's pretty like a lot of energy in the group. And I'm actually the oldest one today, and I'm 23, so and it was dusty. Look at that. After the ride, it's time for lunch. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> We're for sure going to be in the ocean. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Bakla. King's game. I think it's a Danish game. Okay, to finish the vlog, thank you so much for watching. Um, we had a good day with the national team, and um, yeah, just thank you for making it this far into the vlog. I also made um, 
or I try to make one from the races I did in Valley Boy and LDS. The video I made was just not good enough, so I just yeah, I actually didn't want to post it. But you still, you guys still had a little bit. You guys still had some questions on Instagram around recovery and stuff. I think after the race, for me, getting hydrated post race is just so important because in a hard race like a cross country race, you just you dehydrate yourself so bad. <laughs> so getting hydrated again, recovery before the race, it's just, there's not really any special thing to do. It's it's all about <laughs> relaxing and, and chilling and, and, and getting that freshness back after you may have been hard, doing some heart training before the race. Um, and then there was one asking about or there was a few asking about some nutrition before the race and for me the most important is just to make sure i get enough carbohydrates um doesn't really matter to me what it is but like if it's pasta or rice or potatoes or whatever like just something full of carbohydrates so i can store a lot of glycogen in my muscles which is the primarily full primary full fuel well it's hard to say um for my muscles during a cross-country race make sure your body is full and ready for uh, a race but pretty much just like a hard training day what, how you would fuel for a hard training day um, do the same for race day and if you don't really feel well for a hard training day you're doing something wrong <laughs> but yeah thank you for watching and um, I'll be back with some new locking and I hope I can make some race specific locking I just need to improve a bit <laughs> Bye.